Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the North American Bear Center here in Ely, Minnesota. And it's for 4 o'clock beer in Richmond, and we've got, we've got almost everybody out already. We have Honey Bear, who is our cinnamon phase black bear. We have Holly, not too far from the three-sided scale. And we have Lucky way down there at the far right. I want to welcome everybody here to the North American Bear Center today. We have seen a lot of supporters, a lot of donors, and people that just enjoy following the lives of Ted Lucky, Honey, and Holly, as well as other research about black bears in the area. Let's talk a little bit about what's for dinner for our black bears. Well, they got dinner to go, and why do we do dinner to go in a paper bag? Well, they have to work for their food. In captivity, one of the things that we always uh, want to work on is their not only their physical health, but their mental health as well. We want to demonstrate some of the skills they need to use to find food in the wild and clawing, digging at something they can smell but can't see, like ant larvae in a rotten log. They can smell the formic acid, but they have to dig to find the immature ants, which is a form of protein for wild bears. Our bears here at the Bear Center get their uh, protein from a number of sources, nuts, variety of nuts, they also get protein from a raw egg in the shell. And some of our bears get tuna fish that you get out of a can at the grocery store. Not the real fish, but out of a can. Let's talk a little bit about our bears here. Honey Bear is the, a lot of people call her a brown bear. Well, she is brown in color, but she's technically a cinnamon based black bear. Black bears are the only of species of all the eight in the world that have a variety of colors that they can come in. A black bear typically you think is black, and that's the predominant color here in Minnesota. They can also be blue-gray, blonde, black, cinnamon, and even white. Honey bear has always been in captivity, and she is our 19-year-old female, and she has never had cubs by her own choosing. She has had the opportunity, but decides no. So no cubs for honey, but she is a, a great bear and exhibits many of the behavioral traits that you might see in the wild. Honey likes her space. She's very solitary. She's really not interested in us humans, especially as caregivers, unless we have food. And sometimes even if we have food, she's not always interested. So she likes to keep her space. Typically, uh, it's about 30 feet. She likes to keep between herself and uh, another bear. And she has a favorite den that she has denned in a couple of years now, and that is the window den. And we call it the window den because it is right by the windows. People say, well, gee, that window den doesn't look very warm. It's just a box with two by sixes and some two by fours. She must get pretty cold. Not really. These bears here in captivity have winter coats and summer coats, just like the wild bears. And here two years ago when it was 40, 45 below, with a lot of snow, they did just fine. For those of you that are looking at Honey, she has some lighter brown hair on her back, down her spine and on the sides. And that is last year's winter coat still coming out. So she is still in the process of shedding. If you look at her face around her eyes and her, uh, up her front legs, you'll see some much darker fur. And uh, you can see she's shedding from the bottom going up. Let's talk a little bit about Honey Bear. Excuse me, Holly Bear. Holly Bear is our two-year-old female, and she's the smallest of the three out there in front of you right now. She's from the state of Arkansas. Holly came to us in December of 2013 and got her name because we received her during the holiday season. 
and she's also named after the holly berry. She was actually born of a wild mother and separated because of a wildfire. She was taken in by a family who tr tried to raise her in a family environment, and that's not something we would recommend you do. Uh, you need proper licenses and permits uh, to do that. So she was taken away by the Arkansas Fish and Game and sent to the Appalachia Bear Rescue Facility in Tennessee. At the rescue facility, she was deemed non-releasable. Uh, therefore, she could not go back in the wild, and the choices for a black bear like that are very limited. It's either find a forever home, which we have become for Holly, or euthanasia. Holly's a little feisty two-year-old. She's also the most vocal of our bears when she doesn't get her way. She sometimes uh, can be quite vocal, uh, making her uh, wishes known to all of us here at the Bear Center. Lucky Bear is at the far right. One of our interns is uh, throwing him some food. He's standing up and he's just a much bigger version of little Holly. Lucky is our eight-year-old neutered male. And Lucky is also born of a wild mother, but he is from the state of Wisconsin. He was found wandering and taken to a rehab facility in the state of Wisconsin. And they deemed Lucky back in the spring of 2007 to be also unable to be released back into the wild. And we became aware of his situation. And Lucky has been with us since July of 07. People always ask, well, how did Lucky get his name? Lucky got his name because we feel we were really lucky to get him. And he's really lucky to be here considering the alternatives. Some of the things they're eating in their lunch are a trail mix, a homemade trail mix, uh, which has uh, something like a dog chow. It has a variety of nuts, and it has dried cranberries as well. I know when there's a lot of kids here at the Bear Center, people always say, well, if it's trail mix, this is that really that good stuff you get in the grocery store that's got a lot of candy and uh, chocolate chips and maybe some M&Ms? The answer to that is no. Uh, we don't have uh, candy in our trail mix at all, but it is homemade based on uh, the time of the summer. Lucky Bear, as I go back to talking about Lucky being an eight-year-old male, him and Holly, our two-year-old female, are friends. They play together, and they pretty much hang out a lot of times together. Now, that's something that here in captivity uh, you'll see here at the Bear Center, but it is not something that you would see in the wild. It would be uh, quite unusual for an eight-year-old male uh, to be, shall we say, hanging around with a two-year-old female. As you're up all here on the deck, I've, I'm really happy to see a lot of folks up here on the deck as well as down below. As you look at the pond, uh, it is all natural. It is two and a half uh, wooded acres. So once you see the tree line, actually it is all woods beyond the tree line. Our bears are free to roam the two and a half acres. And we also do have smaller enclosures for each of them when we do have to go into the uh, enclosure for pond maintenance, etc. We have a really eventful weekend of this coming up. Today is, of course, Thursday, and on Saturday at 2 o'clock, we really have a jam packed day for you. If you are in town, I would highly recommend you come on back to the Bear Center. Uh, we have our grand opening of the Northwoods Ecology Exhibit Hall. It is open right now for those of you that are interested in other wildlife. You might take a look at what we've done with our Northwoods Ecology Exhibit Hall. We have pictures, we have a variety of taxidermy. And one thing we don't have in that room is information, too much information about bears. Because we're expanding uh, what we have to offer our visitors and that is not a lot of just bear information but also about the animals that they encounter here in the Ely area. The focus is all local wildlife and habitat, uh, and I'd ask you to just take a stroll through there. And if you really want to come back, a great time to come back is Saturday afternoon. 
there'll be refreshments served uh, during Saturday event, as well as some special things going on uh, most of the weekend and especially on Saturday. One last shout out to not only the lily patters and our picnic uh, folks that are here for the annual picnic uh, that is going on this weekend. I also want to do a shout out to all those people who uh, wish they could be here this weekend, but due to other circumstances weren't able to travel here because I know many of you are from all over the world. Uh, but we are going to have live broadcasts for those of you that listen to these pond chat uh, broadcasts. There will be a live broadcast at 2 o'clock on Saturday for the ribbon cutting event and you'll not only get to see but hear. So for those of you that uh, are unable to be here this weekend, uh, tune in at 2 o'clock as we always say bear time or Ely time for the event. I think it will be a great opportunity to see something that uh, we have been working on for a number of years and has been a dream of Dr. Lynn Rogers for many years here in the Ely area. With that, this is our last uh, bear enrichment uh, for today. It'll be our last broadcast for today. We will have a behind the scenes at 5 o'clock, and that will be our last behind the scenes today. And for those of you that haven't had an opportunity to go behind the scenes, that's always a chance for us to talk to you a little bit more, answer questions, and also an opportunity for pictures. As we wind down this podcast, uh, for those of you that are in the uh, exhibit hall, you may ask any of us with a red vest on questions if, about the Bear Center, our bears, or anything that you have in mind here about the Bear Center. And if you're thinking about coming back, you might want to talk to our sales associate about a membership because in many cases, all you have to do is come back a, once or twice and the membership really is far more cost effective because you also get 10% off our gift shop and our gift shop online and we will ship anywhere in the world. Well, welcome Lily Patters. It's going to be start of a great weekend and thank you very much. And our next online broadcast will be tomorrow at 11 a.m. Thank you very much.